Hello everybody, I'm Peter Muller, Fairgrounds Wine and Spirits in Danbury, Connecticut. And has anyone ever seen Sigmund the Sea Monster? What the heck is that all about? Welcome back to Fairgrounds TV, everybody. I am Pita, and uh, this is what they call now Korsendonk Pater Double. It is their brown ale. They just renamed it. It's been quite a few years since I've tried it. Um, so I thought I'd give it a whirl. It's 7.5%, or actually it's 6.5% alcohol by volume now since they've changed the name. And uh, this is one of those typical um, Belgian beers you should find in pretty much all your local uh, liquor stores. It's pouring very nicely. Wow. Nice tight head. Real deep, deep tan. Um, it's almost got like a mahogany color to it, uh, very dark brown. Nice carbonation on the bottom, uh, tight small bu bubbles like champagne. Let's give it a smell. Wow. Uh, pretty sweet. I'd say a little bit sweeter than the normal uh, Belgian double. Hmm. Let's give it a taste. Slightly sweet, a little bit of toffee, maybe a slight mocha. Sorry, I got the head all over me. Um, it's, a, it's a very typical Belgian double. The flavor doesn't linger too long. I'm picking up on a slight metallic, maybe mineral flavor. Um, it is a little sweet. It's kind of thin for me. I've had a lot of Belgian doubles and I do really like most of them. I mean, obviously I've told you before, my favorites are Belgian strong ales and um, quadruples. This is just falling a little bit short for me. It is dark. It is a nice starter Belgian dark double beer for somebody that wants to try something that they haven't before. So if you're looking to get into some Belgian beer, check this out. Start with this, maybe a Korsendonk double, and then maybe something like Aflagem triple or Aflagem double. They're all very basic starter, like I call them, you know, Belgian beers with training wheels. So uh, check this out if you've never checked it out before. It's actually not too bad. I think they've changed it since they changed the name. I could be wrong, or it's maybe it's just been a long time since I've had it. But uh, not a bad beer. Um, but uh, please, if you've had this before, give me your comments. See if, I want to know if anybody's had it since it's uh, changed their name and see if it's any different and see if they see a difference. But uh, keep the comments coming. Love them, guys. And we'll be in touch. And we'll see you later. Skull.